Recording these uh, back to back intros, hey, damn. Hello, how is it going? It is Fake Hero coming at you once again with another Legends of Rune Terror video today, uh, whatever day it may be for you today, not today for me, but for you. Anyway, Yetis, 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 we've got some Yetis to play, guys. Uh, Dina Reno shared me this list. He said, play this, dude, it's the bee's knees, like, get on it. I'm like, all right, he convinced me to play it. And now I'm going to share with you guys, you know, Yetis are kind of, they can kind of be competitive, you know, they're a pretty strong mid-range deck. And at the moment, there's a lot of uh, mid-range decks running around, all different sorts. So why not Yetis? Why can't Yetis fit in and do some crazy things? And let me tell you, Reckoning is a fucking insane card at the moment. Anyway, let's jump across, have a look at deck, talk about the cards, why they're here, and what they shall do. I just want to say thank you for all the support, and I will see you soon. Actually, I'll see you in a minute, so we're jumping across. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys first of all uh we should talk about currently tavern keeper this card got buffed and it's now a three mana three three which is great for trading into our opponent's minions as well as healing our nexus to survive the onslaught of some aggressive decks by the way if you didn't see it i'm going to link it in the description uh where our ionia noxus aggro deck was pretty crazy i would recommend you go check it out and give it a shot it has no champions so it's pretty cheap Currently Tavern Keeper got buffed anyway. 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. Heal your Nexus for 3. This is a great play for turn 3 and for, as I said, healing his face. But enough about that, let's talk about the rest of the deck. Go from top to bottom. I see Yeti. <laughs> I don't know about this one, man. But you know, we've, got some, we've got some wins. I don't think I ever highlighted this too much. But there's a single copy of I see Yeti. When I'm summoned, Frostbite enemies with 3 or less health. Seems pretty cool. Sometimes you buff it. It's pretty strong. I mean, every now and then you might find it crazy plays with this. But, um, you know, this could be, I guess it could be a changeable, interchangeable card. But it's kind of interesting. He's featuring some unique off-meta picks. Uh, Ancient Yeti. Uh, this could be like, if you don't have Icy Yeti, because this is, oh, it's rare. You can probably afford it. But you can have like three Ancient Yetis or an Icy Yeti. This is kind of cool. He's testing it out. Uh, Ancient Yeti. This is kind of one of the bees and ease cards for Yetis. Uh, it's going to be reduced in cost. Or it sits in your hand. It's kind of uh, not a card that you will keep in every matchup in the opening hand, but definitely majority of the time, this is really powerful as it uh, kind of curves out through the game. Playing this with like really cheap. Uh, Sejuani is a three of. <clears throat> Sejuani is proving to be quite a powerful standalone card. Doesn't need a ton of support to make this card powerful. Sometimes you just play a six mana five six and grant a vulnerable and frostbite to an enemy, and that's pretty strong, right? Sejuani's is crazy. Um, Fury of the Fury of the North is just a crazy card as well. Um, we do have ways to try and set this up. We're not oftentimes I'm feeling that we're going to be actually leveling up Sejuani, but our other champion in the deck is actually going to be Ash, so the Frostbites do become a bit, bit, bit more relevant there. So Ash is going to be our other champion card. This is kind of going alongside all the mid range Yeti action, and it's just really strong. Four mana four five three is really good. Also goes. These both champions go alongside Reckoning, which is insane, dude. This card can just blow out some mid-range matchups or even some, um, uh, what do you call them? Some Bilgewater decks. Love me some Reckoning. Two copies of that, really powerful. Harsh wins, two copies of. Set up favorable trades. Punish your opponent for attacking. Uh, save your face some damage as well. Uh, Trefarian Assessor, a nice two of here. I think this is pretty standard. I think some, some lists might have three copies of this in their mid-range decks. This is two of, sometimes you might draw it into it and it will be clunky, but most of the time you just want that one SSR to draw a couple of cards and keep refueling, which is quite hard in this deck for card draw in general. Another reason why Reckoning is crazy once we eventually get to it is the fact of that we're running the Yetis, one mana five fives, activating Reckoning is not too hard. I can't stop talking about Reckoning because this card is, is, is crazy, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, Fury of the North, this card I've been noticing has really been picking up uh, picking up speed in terms of play play rate. This card's low key, just uh, pretty much a repost on steroids. It's really strong. Like the barrier doesn't tend to be relevant if it compares to repost, but it's a blowout, especially when you're putting it onto overwhelm units. Oh, man, I'll tell you, the amount of times I've lost a Fury North over the top just feels really bad. So Fury North's really proven to be a strong card and can fit a lot of mid range decks that do uh, you know dip into free old. I'm moving it along, so we are a pretty heavy free old deck because we are actually running Averosian Outriders. Just a two of in this list. I wonder if maybe that could be a considerable swap for the Icy Yeti into the Outriders. But for now, I won't be tweaking the list. Um, Allegiance, grab the top uh, ally in your deck, plus three, plus three, and overwhelm. If you're versing other mid-range decks, like this can just be 
bit of a bit of a game changer really uh really strong granting overwhelm is pretty relevant too it kind of helps us to be you know leveling up sejuani dealing damage and trying to end the game a bit faster great card like if freeord gets any more support in the future these kind of Averrose and Outrise and stuff oof, becomes really strong, really, really strong. Ash 3 of we just mentioned. We do run a fair bit of Frost Spike cards. We'll see uh, shortly as we go down, but Ash just really, really strong. With the right deck, Ash can just do some amazing things. And you know, uh, in the end, as I said, it's a 4 mana 5-3, so that's pretty strong. Uh, Tall Tales, this will go alongside. I guess we'll talk about all the um, Yeti cards in one sentence. Averrose and Trapper, Yeti Yearling, and tall tails uh, and some sometimes you will just use this to guarantee putting a yeti on top of your deck which is not bad because it does specify that it goes straight to the top of your deck be careful when you're versing plunder how you play this card <laughs> but sometimes you might see examples where i'll use tall tails put it on top of my deck so i can start to activate rec uh, activate reckoning either if i'm sitting on an awkward hand big plays but if you play this alongside a yeti on your field that's when you start getting really powerful. So if you have a Yeti, summon an Enraged Yeti, which is the Enraged Yeti here, one mana five fives. Crazy. One mana five fives are crazy, dude. Everosian Trapper, three mana three three. When I'm summoned, create a Yeti. Top three cards here, deck. Yeti Yilling does the same thing, but this is also a Yeti itself, which is kind of interesting. Take note of that. This is a Yeti, so you can activate your Tall Tales alongside Yeti Yilling. And this also places one Shuffle 2 Enraged Yetis into your entire deck though. So you might not hit the Yetis off this. But still, this is a Yeti, helps you to activate stuff. Omen Hawk, Cluster of Fjord, really powerful. If you can get this early, it really boosts your win rate. Everose your Sentry, Refill and Brittle Steel to Frostbite an enemy with three or less health. Nice stuff. Really liked the list. It was pretty cool. Thanks for sharing it, didn't know. Uh, enjoy the games, and I will see you very, very, very soon. Most likely tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I want the one drops, don't I? I guess I keep Ash. She's quite powerful. Uh, oof. Expensive, expensive hand. But the Yeti's getting reductions. And I'll take an Omen Hawk. <laughs> I wanted to make a King Cow Yeti deck once. Homework, homework anxiety 2020. Did work out well. I bet it didn't. I guess we tank seven here. I kind of need the one drop to, I don't know. What uh, yeah. I like four four trappers. Gotcha. You saying it didn't work out well, anxiety? Unbelievable. We'll be passing here. If I can um get past his early game, he's actually gone for the more uh, tempo route in terms of playing Butcher over his Curse Keeper early. So I've got mana for, for example, Harsh Winds next turn, so that could be kind of relevant. I like 5 mana Yetis, but that also means I can't play Harsh Winds. Perhaps developing a strong board this turn is more important. Sure. Dude, do I ever fury the north? A fucking... Can't be right. Might be right. Probably not right though. Yeah, this is fun. My next pet project is to make a blood for blood good. Yeah, that card's kind of interesting. You can see, I, I see it more as card draw. If there was more support around that kind of mechanic, that would be a card that fits in. Like if there was a card that said damage me for tremendous value, blood for blood might be a considerable option for a deck like that. 
We Ash here. I thought about playing the Yetis, but I'm going to chill for now. Get Ash into the field. A big ass coffee. I can do something wild next turn. Where I just go Yetis and just go to town. This two mana means we'll have seven next turn. Interesting turn. I'm gonna slow play here. So many years, so much sure. Do you run twist black spear? Gonna end round here. This is good. I can actually play. Oh, I can't play this plus harsh winds though. Somehow I feel like I need to play our harsh winds this turn to punish his attacks. Cards do you have? Sure. Glad he's swinging with everything. He runs like atrocity and stuff on his deck. Does he run atrocity? Withering whale. Sure, I'll do this. Keep myself a 10 HP with the chance that Withering Whale punishes us. Quite barely. Sure. A yeah, value deck would run cards like Atrocity. This is a pretty insane assessor if he has no withering whale here. You're all over the balance. Deal with this. This is tough. I might not ever get as much value from assessor as I do right now, but we've got a pretty insane hand. So 
play for, so I, the question is am I playing for the long term or the aggressiveness and I think we'll be playing for the long term here Line up. yo my man Noni one subscribed to tier one they've subscribed for two months in a row thanks buddy enjoy the new upgraded uh, badge my man thanks for the support dude two question mark two What if I just do this, play frosh, uh, flash freeze? It's maybe too ham and aggressive, but I'll do it myself. maybe I can swing with you too. Want to block here? You want to like some weird shit? This is fine. My man, a naughty one. So if he does this, I can go fewer the north instead. So I can't flash freeze. Oh, no, I can flash freeze you still. Do I want to save these units? Probably not. The time is right. Strike now. Sure. So if he doesn't open attack here, I can play Sedge. God, I hope you're not running atrocity, my dude. Son of a Also helps to play around atrocity for the meantime. In case he is running it, which would mean I kind of like have to open attack next turn. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, do I beat atrocity? Yikes! This is an important turn.
Frostbite, the strongest enemy, hey? Double grasp. Off east. Grasp. You fought well. So he probably puts a 6-5 into the 5-5, five five, right? So he chooses to do here. My stead just got vulnerable. Also tanking, it's not bad. Jesus. So I'm always blocking this. I don't think I can afford to take two damage. We block everything here. Check this out. So he has to like block something. <laughs> Hello there. Yo, I've got to be kidding me. No, I really thought about playing uh, Crystal Arrow. I really did. I thought by this point he wasn't running Atrocity. God, I would have won this game if I played fucking Crystal Arrow. Holy shit, I'm an idiot. Fuck me, man. New recruit reporting in. A real battle. Feed Demacia. Who does not know the name Laurent? My plan is to try and get a crazy reckoning off. What will you have? 
Finally, Tavern Keeper. Cool addition to the list. Alright, let's mess some folks up. You? I'm through waiting. A swing like this, he just blocks with you. This will swing with you as well. I can full I can full swing here. I feel like I'm achieving a decent amount. Yeah, I lose this. He still has a unit. Cool. I kept reckoning for a reason. I really hope I get paid off for it. Fuck, how much damage can I tank this turn? I guess I'm fine to go down here. Can I? I could also top deck the Yeti next. Uh, the. This is weird. Hang on. I would need to legitimately draw into the Yeti to empower Reckoning. It's got a lot of damage. Take my chances here. I'll take my chances. We'll draw into the Yeti and we'll be all good. Just like honey thresher geese. I can clear the Quinn. I could also increase my chances. He's gonna kill my yearling if he swings here, so I should have a higher chance of finding that yeti. We have a higher chance of finding a Yeti. Higher chance. I'll float my mana here. Even Bannerman doesn't do anything for him here. I kept the Reckoning on purpose. We'll see if it pays off. Be smart not to develop anything. If you knew what I was holding in my hand. How much do you commit to this board? You're covered. That'll do it. Like what do you actually do against this? Just bend the knee, that's what you do. You bend the knee or you pay you play repost to save one of your dudes. Bend the knee, dude. Bend the knee. <laughs> you son of a bitch. We kept we kept reckoning in the mulligan and look at that. Beautiful. Gee, the reckoning seemed to pay off a lot for us before.
That's pretty good. Real question is... Okay, the turn just got a bit easier. I was gonna say, do I just not take the pilfer here? Ah. Captain's orders. Pull it to the face. I'm gonna run the reckoning plan here. <laughs> Hopefully it pays off again. The trap is set. The trap is set. Guess I'll be passing for now. Oh, Yeti's on the game early. I have arrived. My man. What up, Bryce guy? So I'm always going to block you with the 1-1. One, one. Drawing one, fine. It's mana efficient. Line up. Go away. Get out of my deck, dude. At least I drew my Yeti. New haircut? Nah, just different angle. Same haircut. I try and style it every day. And sometimes it comes out looking a bit different than usual. It's an inconsistency on the way I product my hair. And it keeps it fun, keeps it interesting. By the way, am I just fucking doing it? How would you feel if I just played Reckoning right now? How would you feel? That was clean. Fortune favors the bold. Mm. Fuck, I think it's buffed up, eh? They always take this swing here. Always, right? Being on uh, attack, him being on attacking odds means I can react to his Sejuani with my own Sejuani, which is kind of hilarious. I'm not greedy, my friends though. But this is not what I expected. Yo! My man. He's probably not playing another unit here, right? Nothing escapes my watch. Have you seen Wild Rift? League of Legends mobile game? Yeah, I've heard of it. I've heard of it. Wow, what's up? Is it is it nearly out? Nearly released? What's going on? He's not playing another unit here, so it's pretty insane. Boys. <sighs> this will be quick. I should always take this block. Yours. No, I haven't. Uh, give me a link. I'll have a look after this. Please. Let's 
Let's just go wide here. Start off with the Hawk, see what else he maybe plays. I'll float three mana. Floating three seems decent. Gives us options with harsh winds. This Icy Eddie, I feel like it's going to do some pretty crazy shit soon. Decent, we've got some healing. Feels kind of sad. Hey, Fake Hero 3, did you see the new Rinktero vid? I sure did. I was kind of interested in doing a um, podcast to talk about it, but um, yeah, I saw it. It's kind of interesting. I'll leave my personal, uh, personal opinions aside. But I have, I have like some of my own feelings about it. Mixed feelings, if I'm being honest. Majority of it, like, okay, first of all, I guess when I say mixed feelings, I mean, it's really good what they're doing. It's really good. And, uh, I guess I'll, like, the, the, the fucking, um, the frostbite the Rex, right? From the, savage cold. the fucking, um, what's it called? What are the game modes called again? I've already forgotten. The catalyst? No. Show them our teeth. Do I have Fury of the North before or after? It's always after. Thanks, Rice Guy. The game modes they introduced in the Rune Terra vid, it was it was like literally just um, labs was one and something else, gauntlets. That was it's literally just copy and paste from Hearthstone's game modes. I can respect that they're bringing in fresh game modes for more casual players, but they could have done something like. I don't know, I have to wait and see exactly what they do, because like Hearthstone's versions were just so like basic, right? Doesn't have three or less health. Bring me chaos. Big fan of their um them releasing their card schedule though. Riptide Rex is so good and I hope he hasn't got another one or a way to activate it or I'm gonna be super bummed out. Um big fan of their new card release schedule. So they're gonna do I like how it's cause I was I thought for a moment I'm like how the fuck are they gonna keep bringing out cards like new regions when they they're gonna eventually run out. So what they're doing is they're releasing a major region every six months. And then they are... Fuck, what do I do here? I guess I just play you. And then every two months, they're doing just a card release, which is crazy. Two months, new cards. That, re that, that goes a long way for content creators. That's insane. Big fan of it. So I probably want to play like something like Harsh Winds this turn. I don't think I can play the Icy Yeti yet. I should probably just heal up my guy as well. I said Giovanni. I could actually almost just kill him this turn if I'm being honest. Be smart not to block the Sejuani here. Okay. <laughs> what card beats me if I just go Fury of the North here? Not an entire a lot. I'll take my chances. I see lethal. I'm gonna go for lethal. He shouldn't have blocked the Sedge this turn. 
But we'll see if he has a combat trick I'm missing. GG. Whoa, what the fuck are we versing? You know, Dean Arena runs Avros in our eyes at this list, and this is the first time I've seen it. I'm playing Noxus only at Aggro right now. I'm pretty keen to try out that deck. Share me a list. The fuck am I seeing? Somehow I feel like Brittle Steel might be a keep. Am I, am I being too greedy? It's a two and a four. All I'm going to do is find a three or a one drop, and I'm pretty happy. There we go. Lux Karma always strong, man. <laughs> Not much change for it. I actually burst a deck earlier today that I tried to like replicate, but without much success. He was playing Lux Elise, and he was running Broad Awakening because it's six mana now, which was hilarious. So he could like buff the um, Lux. Fortunately, when I tried to replicate it, I just kind of got my ass kicked. My turn. So I just, yeah. Really vibing the Kindly Tavern Keeper. That's really cool. I should play a three drop that heals me. What will you have? It's Karma. Sorry. Also strong. Was pretty strong earlier, but was kind of outshined. Outshined by some of the other meta. I realized I made a, I made a really simple mistake that shouldn't happen. Um, that is, whenever Crimson Disciple swings at you, and you've got a unit that can block with two damage, you always block the Disciple. So that was a mistake. We'll fix it up though, I'll make up for it. Plus, I still would have taken damage, so Shared Spoils would have went off, but I made a really simple mistake that I think I've talked about multiple times before. I've got a uh, brittle steel on the backup. All the world on one <clears throat> I'm gonna play Ash here because Ash is like my strongest unit right now, and we're versing a fast deck, so we want to play a little bit slower. So maybe Ash was just a bit too, a bit too send. Can swing like this. Like, what's your actual play here? Question is, do I brittle steal this now or later? Now, it's not uncommon for him to have a way of dealing one damage, is it? I could play a little bit slower here. I don't think I need to match his tempo, so I don't think I'll be brittle stealing this. We can always play a bit slower. Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. No problem. I could deal with that. Fortunately, that's not getting a lot done here, though, is it? Hmm. Many tribes, one for a three, three. We could use your help. Look out for Reavers. I've got meat bigger than you. Let's talk about your death. That's a lot of damage. I think I have to let Ash go down here. This is far too much damage. Now, I guess the other question is, I should probably block like this. I don't think putting this down to three means anything. Having this unit's much more relevant. I'm tinkering with my deck, but I will give you a base for my deck. Yeah, no problem, man. My man. All good.
By the way, Mojo, what server are you playing on? Are you NA? You're NA, by the way. I feel free to add me, guys. I think I have Rice Guy. Do I have you on here? Or do I have Asian Soy Sauce? Uh, it's Fake Hero hashtag OCE if you guys want to add me. We're chilling. Uh, open attack. Open attack means I can clear some threats, but not many threats. Yeah, so it was you. Sorry, there was another gentleman. There was another um player. Yeah, yeah, there was another player who who come around the same time you did, and his name was Asian Soy Sauce, and it was um. You can see how I got confused, man. You got Rice Guy, Asian Soy Sauce. I don't. Give me a break, dude. My bad. I apologize. I knew. I thought I had you, but make me make me feel bad. So if I can get double blocks here, like I'll take it. I have no combat tricks, so if he has like anything, if he has like literally anything, about to get slapped. I apologize to your about to get slapped. <laughs> We're versing a strong player right now. Ah, oh, dude, these guys can. <sighs> How do I? How do I? <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, we really missed the early game, didn't we? Okay, I need to put a Yeti onto the top of my deck. It should hopefully stop him from slow playing thanks for asking I'll sauce it out Delicious. oh I'm taking a fucking yikes amount of damage I feel like I'm kind of dead Dude, this is crazy then he plays this like Darius and stuff Really strong. Like, surely he's not running cards like Decimate and shit, right? Surely. Most likely. Oh man, his deck's really strong. I guess I should draw cards here. Even if it's one card. Kind of desperate. Oh my god. This is the mid-range meta, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the mid-range meta. Man, yoinking is toxic, Tenkua. Hello, buddy. Thanks for popping in. How we going? Yeah, yesterday's stream, um... Not sure if you're there towards the end, but I left, like, I was a bit tilted. So when, uh, I do apologize if you're there, Tenkua, or Rice Guy may have been there. But after that, I went and cleaned my house. I got creative. I started doing a lot of things online in terms of like graphic stuff. And I really just really refreshed my brain. Okay. I need to, um... I need to play Ash. Only the Shit. Serve. And I need a fish for Line up. frostbite cards. That won't do it. I just robbed two dreadways from a gangplank deck. Toxic. His deck's insane. Why is that buffed? Shared spoils, of course. This is a really interesting deck. So if I swing... Swing. I kind of have to, like, do something. <sighs> it doesn't achieve much. 
Pass. What deck tilted me? It wasn't so much the decks I was playing. It was actually just me just generally getting tilted myself. It, I wasn't like full tilted either. I think I explained it like I was just disappointed. And um, yeah, I was just like kind of, I lost a few games and I was just like really speechless. But I was playing um, I didn't find the frostbite cards. So is there any way I can survive this? There's surely no way I survived that. GG. Gwent!